Welcome to the How to Organize Your Photos Using Picasa 3.5 Lessons. Start over at any browser. We use Firefox um, and we go to Google and you type in the word Picasa and you'll see Picasa 3. You click on the free downloads and you'll see download Picasa 3.5. We're going to be doing this for a Windows PC on Vista. Uh, you can also kick this up for the Mac, I understand and this will bring you right into the download sequence. Uh, we have it configured so you can actually see it on the screen. Everybody may have a slightly different approach, but uh, once the program is running, it doesn't take very long to come down. And you'll see that it's going to be ready in just a quick moment. We go ahead and double click on this and it will start the process as you will see. Um, we're doing this on a, a machine over here in Germany, so most of the uh, small images you see have German words on them, but that shouldn't be that big of a deal. <clears throat> now, uh, as you can see, this is the Terms of Service. Uh, we always like to do a quick look through there to see if anything new and exciting is coming along. It looks like it's relatively clean. We go ahead and agree. It'll put it in a uh, pre-configured location. That should work just fine for most of you on your C drive. Um, I would not recommend that you do it on any uh, ex uh, don't don't put it on an external drive under any conditions, and then uh, make sure that uh, it's going to run Picasa three and will allow you to do some other interesting things that you'll be able to see. The screen will come up in just a moment, and this is the uh, Picasa three point five help screen, which you can look at in a few minutes. In the meantime, what we're going to do is decide whether to pull all the images from the computer, which is the recommended, or to only select them from certain places. Uh, this uh, lower screen gives you the opportunity to decide to look at all the pictures on your computer. That's the one that we recommend unless you happen to have a much better uh, organizational strategy for your photographs and they have them already pre-allocated, which is that top button right there. But we're going to go ahead and uh, start the process and it's going to uh, basically start scanning the computer that we're on for all the photographs and the movie files. Um, you're going to see here in a moment the um, different types of files. Here we go. These are the uh, different ways that uh, Picasso looks at your system. These different types of JPEGs, the TIFFs, the GIFs, um, and some of the other files, AVI files. We're going to go ahead and select them all and that will basically allow your computer to start uh, really, you know, uh, looking at each of the different areas for uh, photographs. And it puts them into a date encoding sequence, which basically means that it looks at the date when the pictures were taken. That's done by your digital camera. And uh, it'll sort them out. And uh, whatever name you put on them at one time in the files or the folders when you save them to your disk will now be available for you to review. Now this does take uh, a little bit of time. As you can see, uh, this is the first folder and there's another one from 2004. This is uh, one of my publishing clients' uh, computers that I'm doing this demonstration on. And so they have a lot of photographs from uh, many different places actually. You can see there's lots of uh, pictures of family and friends and a lot of different things. And one of the neat things we'll be talking about in another lesson is the, f uh, the face recognition uh, technology that 3.5 comes up with that allows you to um, basically scan all your photographs and put them together by the people that you um, hope to, to see more often. Now we're back here at the website for uh, Picasso 3.5 and this will show you a bunch of different new additions. There's a kind of a few clever things. There's the uh, add the name tags by recognizing faces. It kind of looks at different fa uh, images you have and puts them into a catalog. So if you have uh, all pictures of uh, one of your grandchildren or someone in your family, this would be a good way to uh, find all those photographs and uh, put them into a folder and to identify them. Uh, there are, you know, quite a few, uh, you know, neat uh, technologies here. There's a getting started guide with Picasa, which tells you a lot about how the software works. And then it also talks about web albums. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about web albums here in a few minutes, but uh, give yourself the time to take a look at this uh, particular uh, web page and you'll be able to, like I said, link to it when it installs. But we're going to go over and uh, look at Picasso web albums right now and assume that you don't have one. Uh, we actually do have one, which you'll see a little later. But this is going to take you through the process of really setting up your new one. So go ahead and click on the Create um, a New Account, which is right there in the center where the highlight is. And this um, 
uh, is a Google account which you can put in your existing email address here. Uh, just type it in with a password and then there's a few other questions that will ask you later on like a username. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use our computer helpers for good at G uh, Google Mail or gmail.com uh, account and uh, register that. Now this is an existing account of ours so we're going to take you to the point where you just simply uh, enroll and type it in. You can see we use a strong password that's a combination of letters and numbers and we're going to ask it for computer helpers for good which I believe I've already registered and we find out yes in fact it's already taken so we're just going to add a little phrase at the back here called computer helpers for good learning and that'll be the album where we do demonstrations and put uh, post you know video files and things like that and you find out that it is available they will want to know who you are so you simply just type in your first name here and then your last name and then uh, choose the location where you are uh, that defaulted to Germany because I can see I'm uh, actually doing this recording from Germany on my visit over here and it's got one of those little captcha things at the bottom which uh, you know you have to type in and kind of read funny and you know it's, it's a real interesting experience uh, again look through your terms of service uh, very quickly and carefully if you choose to and you look to see if there's anything in there that you find objectionable this would be an important thing to know and then um, you click on this button and